Alright folks, this is the last episode of Let's Play American McGee's Atlas. I made it through the spade maze and a really, really confusing uh, platforming section. Well, not so much confusing, it's frustrating. It was actually pretty straightforward what I had to do most of the time. But then I went through a uh, portal and ended up in the final area of Wonderland, Queensland. Uh, here in the real world, Alice is sitting up during a storm, staring at this dying candle with a face. But in her mind, we're fighting the Jabberwock again. Who called it? How do you like it? F. Damn it. Really? Just the one? at all. I have to do this again. The uninformed must improve their deficit or die. That's really good advice. Words to live by. Sorry about the confusion at the end of the last video, folks. I wasn't sure if that video and uh, cutscene was going to keep going uh, longer than the recording time I was allowed. When I said I'll cut it off, my plan was to, uh... end the video and immediately begin the next one before the cutscene is over. Holy crap! Damn it! It's really starting to piss me off. You in hell. You've destroyed her guardian, Alice, and avenged my death. Enter the ultimate battle. Must I fight on? Can't the Red Queen be persuaded to surrender? True words and logic rarely defeat evil intent. She is still strong, and so many have been harmed. They want revenge, which we call justice. She made this world, and she must pay. You must lead our forces against her. I'm not sure I know how to lead. Do your best, Alice. 
You can only do your best. You can always do best. That line about she created this world leads me to believe that the Red Queen is just going to be Alice in a red dress, which would make her an interesting boss fight. Well, the Jabberwock is gone, so I'm going to call this one. Next time on Let's Play American McGee's Alice, we walk right into Evil's doorstep. See you then. <laughs>